I'm Daniel Sakala, and I'm a lecturer in the math department here at the University of New Haven. And I'd like to talk to you about our degree in actuarial science. So what is an actuary? Well, broadly speaking, actuaries measure and manage risk. Now, of course, uh, leaders across business and industry and government have to make fairly large decisions quite frequently. Uh, and in their decision making, they have to weigh various risks. And so actuaries being experts in risk are naturally a part of a lot of these decision making processes. So what are various careers that you can do with a degree in actuarial science? Well, you can be an actuary, that's the most obvious choice, but there are quite a few other options available to you, right? You can be uh, an analyst in business or in finance, insurance, right? A degree in actuarial science also prepares you to be a data scientist or a project manager or teacher. Right? So there are actually quite a few different careers that can stem from a degree in actuarial science. So what skills do actuaries need? Uh, well, measuring risk involves knowledge in statistics and probability. So we'll want to develop your background in that area. Now, doing these computations and statistics can be a bit laborious, a bit complicated, and they're not the sort of thing you want to do with a pen and paper. Uh, you'll largely be using computers. And so for this reason, we want to develop some coding skills. Nothing too fancy, but a fairly good familiarity with uh, some common statistical software packages is definitely helpful. Uh, also, actuaries, they work in business and in financial contexts, and so we want to develop your business acumen and your knowledge of finance and the markets. Uh, and also, actuaries, they often work with others that don't share the same technical background. And so actuaries are going to have to take this very technical information and communicate it to others in ways that others can understand. And so communication skills is another uh, thing that we want to develop. So if you have already thought about becoming an actuary and you've done a little bit of research into what that entails, maybe uh, you've come across these actuarial examinations. Well, if you haven't, here's the gist. So just like a lawyer has to pass a bar exam, actuaries, they pass a series of examinations. And there are actually two different tracks. And the track that one takes depends on the specific field they end up working in. But regardless of which track, they all start with the same three exams. This first exam is in probability, the second in financial mathematics, and the third, in investment and financial markets. Then usually by the time you're taking or have passed your third exam, you're already in your first job, or perhaps you're searching for your first job. Uh, but either way, you'll have a pretty good sense of which track uh, you'll, you'll be traversing. And so the one track is governed by the Society of Actuaries, and those are for those who work in life insurance or health insurance or pensions. Uh, the other track is run by the Casualty Actuary Society, and those are for those who work in property insurance and casualty insurance. Um, but again, regardless of which track you ultimately end up taking, the first three exams are the same for everyone. And so that's why in our program, we focus on preparing you for these first three exams. Now, passing all three exams um, before you graduate would be really a, a phenomenal achievement. Uh, and it's not necessary. Passing one or two will set you up nicely to look for your first job. But we still would like to prepare you for all three. In the case that you do only pass one or two, you'll at least have seen the material for all three. So that way, when you are in your first job, you're ready to hit the ground running uh, to take this third exam. Okay, so how do we prepare you for the exams? Well, we have courses that will introduce you to all the material that these exams uh, test you on. And we'll also have seminars dedicated to um, exam preparations, right, where we'll focus on the sorts of questions that you might see on an exam. 
Okay, so switching to mathematics at the University of New Haven. So we're very student centric and we have quite small classes. Right? Beyond calculus, the math classes never have more than 15 students in them, which is really fantastic because this allows you a chance to get to know the faculty and also get to know your peers. Uh, and given that your peers will also be taking these actuarial examinations with you, uh, it's a great way to form study groups and peer groups and also get um, you know, tips and pointers from other students who maybe have just taken an exam. We also have on-campus employment opportunities, which you know, I'll say more about in a second. Uh, we also have quite a few minors that pair really well with the degree in actuarial science. And you can see those here. Okay, so the employment opportunities. Um, well, you can tutor in the math zone. The math zone is a department on campus that focuses on pre-calculus and college algebra. You can be a recitation leader for Calculus 1 or Calculus 2, where you'll actually be working with the class, uh, specifically on practice problems and exercises. Okay, you can also be a math tutor at the Center for Learning Resources. So the Center for Learning Resources is uh, a place on campus where students will go if they want some extra help in you know, whichever topic they would like help in, math being one of them. Uh, and this center is also developing a learning assistance program where if you're hired as a learning assistant, you'll actually be trained and then paired with a professor to help run that professor's uh, group work or some extra problem solving sessions and you'll maybe even be holding out office hours. Uh, and also there's a number of faculty in our department that have community outreach programs and they're occasionally looking for teaching assistants to help. So here you see some photos of, you know, current and former students, some mass own tutors there and some calc recitation leaders. Uh, we also have the math and physics club. So this is, you know, it's a fun club. It's a very casual atmosphere where people get together. Um, you can learn about some cool topics in math and physics. And we also have social activities. It's a great way to get to know others. Um, here you see some photos from some activities that we did in the past. Uh, our department is also active in the community, right? We're not all cloistered up in our offices. Uh, you see in the upper left there, a coding camp where at a local middle school where our faculty is helping, you know, young kids code. In the upper right, you see the All Girl Math Academy summer program, which is where a number of girls from local schools get together with some of our faculty. You know, they get to get to explore their love of math together. Uh, in the middle here, you see a photo from a regional conference that we held where a number of professional research mathematicians, they come and they share their latest research. So you don't have to, you know, be a professional mathematician to come and enjoy these. Uh, anyone can come. And then you get the chance to chat about mathematicians, about what sort of things you know, they do, and what sort of things they think about. Okay, so if you're interested in becoming an actuary and you'd like some more information, uh, check out these QR codes. So if you snap a photo of these with your phone, it should take you to a website. So the first two are for those organizations I mentioned earlier around the actuarial examinations. So that's the Society of Actuaries, in the Casualty Actuary Society. So on their websites, you'll get to learn quite a bit more about the examination process and about just what a career uh, in, as an actuary is like and what sort of things you'll be doing day to day. So it's, they're really the best resources to learn um, about what being an actuary is all about. So this third QR code will take you to the university website where you can get some more information on the program the sort of classes you'll be taking, you know, et cetera. So uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. So you, you see my email here on the screen, dsakala at newhaven.edu. Um, so thank you for your, your time and for listening. And I hope to see you on campus in the future. <laughs>